Hello everyone, I'm Solon of Rainy Day Let's Play and you are watching this video game called Crypt World, Your Darkest Desires Come True. And it is a epic saga of video gaminess. And it's all about exploring the beautiful world that uh, was put together by just a handful of people. Gonna, just, gonna remember their names. Uh, Elizabeth Deadman and Marionette Cicada and Lilith. And there's also music by Liz Ryerson, who has pretty much composed about half of my free indie games library at this point. But yeah, so this is a very big and very long game, and not something that I'm going to fit into um, the uh, the usual time limit I set myself. And uh, as much as I want to extend this into a full Let's Play, I'd rather kind of keep it to myself, because my gameplay is my playthrough of my game. And yours can be yours. It's a free game, so you can go download it, and a lot of strange stuff happens. Like telephones that exist and speak to you, and they tell you to uh, get out of your house. And farms where you can plant meats and breads and seeds and heads bones and stuff and this guy who lives in your house he's kind of like your friend or a pet or maybe both but he's an alien and we don't talk to him but we just walk out the big doors but pretty much everyone should play this game because it's a video game and you're forced to play all video games once you uh, see about them but there's tons of little quirks and secrets, and it's full of fun things, you know, things that humans consider fun. Like secret seeds hiding around places. Those are the big orange cantaloupe bowling balls that you see me picking up. But you can go through the world collecting seeds, and the idea is that um, if you get enough, you can buy stuff at shops, but the main goal is to go into holes and pee in them. This is what I take away from the game. And they give you bugs, which is super cool. The other takeaway is that you can jump up and down, uh, which is kind of like most video games, but I like jumping up and down in this one more than others sometimes. Also, the bushes all look at you, which I think is nice. It really puts into perspective the vitality of all life. Hello! I love you. And we can kind of have like a little dance party together on top of the bush. But for real, the actual thing is not necessarily just picking up seeds to gain pee points to pee on things. Although that's a pretty nice part of it. It's kind of like perks of the play. Or to make your little guy in the left hand corner, bottom left, he gets really happy sometimes, and that's kind of nice. But it's really to collect these buggers. There's like five of them, kind of grotesquely hidden around this world. Like this guy, who will sell it to me for 150 gold bars. Which is a shame, because I only have four. Sorry. But... You wanna, the idea is that you're supposed to collect all the goddess relics and defeat the demon, but that isn't even close to as much excitement and fun as it is just exploring the world and the secrets that the game has to offer. Because there's tons of very pretty secret things all over this place, like TV faces. It's a very gothic game, in a lot of senses, but it's also a lot of other things, so I don't think it's fair to... Hello! There's a pilgrim on the roof. It's not super fair to put it into any one category or anything. Like, look! All the small pilgrims, they can all talk, and then, yeah, sometimes they explode. Which would be kind of tearful, but then it's also a video game. And then, exploding people becomes part of the play. Now we're playing with exploding people. That's kind of fun. 
Right, small pilgrim? Right. See, it's a game that we can all play. Oh, hello, everyone. Aw, destroy me now. No more hope. No more, please. I have waited in this abandoned home for 30 years, waiting for it to end, and it never does. And I continue my miserable life as a television. Is it punishment? Is this hell? What cruel forces planned this? So a bunch of chipper and hopeful individuals kind of crowd the halls of this place. And there's like probably a hundred thousand different rooms to go into and they're all handcrafted and different unlike things like the Rouge likes that try to make one room seem like a hundred thousand but there's just a lot of wonderful little things hidden in this game and so during your adventure to come you know accumulate some arbitrary amount of items there's just so many different flavors going on speaking of flavors here's a Mark Donald's where you buy hamburgers and buying hamburger well I, I'm actually I don't have the money to buy anything no food no fries no burgs but all of these uh all of these consumers, they all are, are skeletal pilgrims, and there's this whole world that's being created. You can sneak away into the back room. Hello! I have the cutest voice ever. We can even explore into the vats of McDonald's stuff. Maybe help sanitize it a little bit. But since we don't have enough gold here, usually we can spend our money, which is all kind of spent up in seeds right now. I have way too many seeds. And you can buy, use gold to get McDonald's points, or MDP, or whatever it is. And you can buy stuff with them. I don't have enough points to buy anything though, because I'm totally broke. But we can head to, oh, I think this is back to the pilgrim area. Yeah, let's try going somewhere else. There's a bunch of secret entrances into all of the places. Oh no! Aww. Uh-oh. Everyone's saying stuff now. I think I broke it. Oh, yep. Okay, jumping off of this thingy. Now I'm back in nowhere land. Oh! Oh, Jimmy's. I have entered a strange world. And I don't know how, because this was just the ladder. Error! Everything is contained in these points. Every aspect of our being. In your world, we are broken. A shell of ourselves. All forms may be broken. Ah, ha, ha. No, no, no so pretty though. I could actually just stay here forever. Cool dance music. Whoa. Oh, hello. This is the place where I want to be. Okay, I have fallen, but due to technical errors, I have started at the beginning of this area once more. Now beat up this... okay, so this is a big glitch. Well, I only have two ways of interacting with this world. Talking, or clicking, or just generic interaction, and peeing. So, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna pee on the big glitch. 
because I have no decency. Bye bye! Oh! I defeated the big glitch! God says I've broken the very essence of this land and uh, may return to our world, but not without some slight changes. Oh, hello. Well, this is our, uh, our very small look into uh, Crypt World. Your darkest desires, your deepest, your dankest, your dang nabbest desires. There's about a million other things all over this game. And so I highly recommend giving it a whirl and just doing stuff because that's an amazing part of this game. And you can see tons of influences all over this game that are um, kind of amazing what level of um, depth is in this <laughs> just a room of toilets <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> surprises around every corner this is like the the windows maze from the old windows screensaver oh poor tv face there's about a hundred and a half zelda and pokemon references in this game and if you are really into any of those games you're gonna, you're gonna find something that interests you. Oh, hey, Cicada. You're just, you're working hard down here. You, you done good. My work is never done. Anyways, I should probably get out of here. Oh, I want this though. Giant. Hamburger. I'm torn between continuing to explore this debug maze or to uh, to leave. I should probably leave though. There's a huge part of this section specifically that reminds me about Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I am not sure if other people remember it the same way or if I'm remembering it completely wrong, but I just really like just that little, little tiny piece of walls and grass. Hello! Hi, Rob Laic. He's got a lot of, uh, Oregon limb things. I really like him. I kinda... He's got a lot of faces. Many faces to Rob Laic. Oh no! Buddy! Oh, You fell in the goo! But it's okay, you can like, you can make that your thing. You'll be the, the gooey pilgrim knight. It's okay. You'll, I don't, I'm not gonna help you at all, but you can figure it out. I'm not allowed to help. I can just talk and pee. I have been I have been limited in that way. Oh hey. I was just going to take my leave of absence. Bye TV face. Going to hell. Oh. Hello. Just gonna just gonna leave. Luckily, this hell is not a bad place. Most hells are bad places, but this one's pretty good. Um, if I don't get lost. Oh, there are 31 seconds left before I can return to the living world. Maybe I should just hang out and chat. I like that now that I've went to the glitch world, everyone tips their hat at me. They're very polite. Okay, so we made it our ways back into the crypts. After all the damnation that we went through. I like that there's burgers everywhere. It reminds us all that we need to eat. For nourishment and for 
you know, dead people can eat too. It's nice to think about the dead people. Oh! Ah! Hello! I'm not supposed to see this. Oh, Jimmy's. There's just, there's, they're nerds. They're disposable nerds, and they're everywhere. This is just, this is, this is hell. Rows and rows of nerds, all together connected. It's kind of like the nerd singularity, but disgusting. How sad. And tips their hat. I like jumping on the coffins. It's like a new way to explore jumps. Whee! <laughs> anyway... Finally, we should probably meet Goddess Moronia. She just tells you to scram. Because I don't have any relics. Anyway, that's all I've got for Crypt Worlds. There's about a million other things to do in here. And you should definitely have fun doing it, because that's the only choice you have. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on Rainy Day Let's Play.